What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we've actually got our hands, our sweaty palms, on a copy of Everspace 2. I really liked the first Everspace. I thought it was a fantastic game that just simply did not get enough love. And so I will always take an opportunity to check out the prototype demo of Everspace 2 that's been provided to the channel straight from the developers. So let's dive on in and see what the game's got for us. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of controls right now that it's trying to throw at me. I'm going to absorb this for a second, and then we'll cut back in, okay? All right, I think I got the rough idea. I think I'll be okay. We'll, like, pick it up as we go, but it's a lot of controls to absorb. Obviously, this early prototype is probably not going to give you, like, a super solid tutorial. And so, like, we're just going to have to feel this one out, see how it goes. we got some ships available. So we got a Sentinel. What else do we have? We have an Interceptor over here. Okay, so we've got ourselves an electronic warfare fighter utilizing advanced devices and drones for offensive and defensive purposes. We've got the Interceptor, which is an attack fighter with very strong offensive capabilities and a focus on primary weapons and conventional warfare. We've got the Assault Fighter, which is a mobile strike fighter that can quickly catch up with most enemies and disable them with a well-placed EMP blast. Okay, I'll probably go with, like, the standardized vehicle. That sounds like a pretty good place to start. So let's go ahead and do it, yeah? Okay, so here we are in the world of the game. Oh, it did give us a tutorial, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Here we are. We've got our little death lasers going on. Oh, I'm being shot at. I don't like that at all. Please stop shooting at me. Please stop that. Yeah, I need you to, like, go... Oh, we got XP. Nice. Okay. Listen here, pal. This is my chunk of space, and you are not welcome in it. Okay? You're not getting through these beefy shields right here. I wonder if it's... What's my secondary? Oh, I've got a mine launcher and a homing missile launcher. Okay. Well, like, let's go after this dude then. Come on. Where is he at? Where is he at? I want to hit you with a... Take me closer. I want to shoot him with my missile. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, my goodness. We are just getting chewed on. I feel like we're outmaneuvered. These dudes are, like, up inside me right now as far as range goes. There we go, there we go, there we go. A little bit of hot damage on him right there. Let's keep moving. I'm not trying to eat up too many of my shields. We'll cut left. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. This dude is squirrely. He is all over the place. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good night. All right, one less problem that we got to deal with. Our shields are still looking pretty strong, so I feel like we're in good shape. There it is. Oh, missiles get deflected by shields. Okay. So, like, we want to wait on the missile launch if we can. Come on. There we go. Yup, take all of it, dude. Take all of it. You can have every last ounce of this laser blast whooping. All right. Oh, there's another one. That's unpleasant. All right, let's maybe not play with the, uh, the additional... Oh, it's a drone? Get off me, man. Apparently, drones can, like, attach themselves to you. There we go. Another enemy down. This guy's got loot. What does he have? Ooh, credits? Yeah, I like credits. Credits are good. Uh, let me boost away real fast because we're kind of getting, like, inundated right now. And I don't like being inundated. Oh, he's still on me, huh? What a champ. Uh, my shields are, like, done right now. That's not good. We need to, like, we need to get away from this dude. But, like, I can't get away. He's, like, faster than me. So much for being a attack fighter, huh? I thought that, like, I was the interceptor. Like, I thought I was the one running interceptions here. There we go. There's one down. Uh, maybe don't run into the giant, massive space rock. That would probably be the best place to start. What else are we looking at right now? We got an enemy down this way. He's kind of far out. What else do we have? We got dudes over there, an outlaw drone coming at us. I don't really know what our goal is right now. We've got our cruise drive. What does that do? Okay, so that lets us, like, jet around. Like, that lets us get a little bit of speed right there. We're moving now. Okay. We can deactivate that. And then we've also got a jump drive. I don't know if it's worth it to jump out of this system or not. we got a couple of enemies over on that side. What is this thing? That's our home base? Oh, let's go back to our home base, dude. I don't know what's going to happen at the home base, but I kind of want to see if there's anything we can spend money on or maybe, like, do something with. So we've got drones. We've got five, six, and seven. What are those? So we've got a coil gun. We've got a pulse laser. I don't know if I need to swap between those or if those are just firing on their own. We've also got a scatter gun right there. How do I swap between my gun types? 
Oh, we just kind of... Ooh, I remember I really liked the coil gun in the first ever space. I remember the coil gun being my jam. Yeah, that was the good stuff right there. It looks like our energy is that white meter on the left. Our shields are obviously on the right with the blue meter. I don't know what the orange meter is just yet. Maybe it's like... Uh, nope, it's not ammo for anything else. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's the amount of missiles I have left? No, it's not the amount of missiles I have left. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what the yellow meter is, but the red one is our hull, obviously. Maybe the yellow's armor, possibly? Oh, nice. Okay, so we can, like, refill our ordnance up in here. What's that going to cost me? Oh, 18 bucks, dude? We just looted, like, $400 off the mutilated corpse of that robot that tried to run up on us. I'm fine with it. I think we're good here. We have modules. Oh, so we get, like, upgradable parts and stuff, too. Okay, not available in this version. What is that? What about the... Oh, cool. We can, like, jump to other... Oh, we can go to Outlaw Turf here. We might have to give that a try, too. Just kind of explore what's in the neighboring zones. Is there, like, a shop or anything here that I can use? Doesn't look like we have a shop or anything else like that. I was hoping maybe I could pick up some new subsystems or something. Subsystem status. It looks like, yeah, that's my armor. The yellow is definitely my armor. How do... Oh, I can replace that right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out slowly. You know, I may not be the brightest cookie, but I'm definitely the chocolatiest. What's up with this enemy over here? I want to fight him. Let's go murder this guy. I feel like this guy doesn't want none. So we got a drone over there. Wait, is there somebody closer? Who is this guy? Oh, this guy's like super close. Let's go get him. Let's go gun this guy down real fast. I'm trying to make some money out here in these streets. Come on. No squirreliness. Oh, wow. He, he pulled out the full. He tried to pull a crazy Ivan on us right there. Man. This guy was pulling all those good moves out. We don't have any other loot on this side, I don't think. Okay. If there's no... It looks like there's loot maybe over here. What is that? That is a container. We should probably take that out. And then we've also got credits over here. Probably from a guy that we murdered. I'm so good at knocking the change out of people's pockets that I'm losing track of all of it. Let's cruise on over to this side of the world. Around the world, around the world. All right, so there we... Oh, no, let's maybe not crash into that. That's probably a mistake. Oh, we just auto loot it. Nice. Sweet. And there's a container over here. Please believe I'm about to get all up inside that Santa goodie bag. I'm about to be in there. I wonder if I can, like, land on the planet. I know I can descend like so. Ah, so we've got a cooling unit. We've got an energy core. And we've got an AI controller. I don't know what any of that does. We can take a look at it. This right here, energy core, it has... Oh, so that's where our energy for our weapons comes from. It comes from that energy core right there. Unfortunately, it looks like we already have one. We've got a cooling unit. It's cold in space, but not cold enough to cool down some overclocked gadgets. So that's a tech resource. We've also got an AI controller. So apparently those are sellable. Maybe it's some kind of like trash loot, possibly. Or maybe it's used for like a crafting system. Like we could turn it in somewhere. What is that building over there? Is that my base? I don't think it is. It's not labeled as my base, so... Let's go kill these guys, too. I want my home base to be 100% covered from the invasions of bad guys. Got one right there. He's not even going to notice, is he? Who's closest? That guy's 3.3. That guy's 1.7. And that guy is... One that guy's coming at us right now. That guy's in full-on evasive maneuvers at the moment. So let's go after him. Come on. Where are you going? Don't, don't hide behind the giant piece of space refuse. This garbage pail is not going to protect you. Yeah, there he is. A little bit of damage out, but we're okay. Oh, we hit level two. Nice. Oh, so we actually get, like, our ship levels up with us. That's kind of interesting. Like, I know that they were describing this more as, like, an open universe, almost like a 4X roguelike is the way they were describing it to me. Like, the scale and the scope seems to have been increased pretty large from, like, the previous game, which was basically, like, FTL almost in its progression, where, like, you flew around, you fought, you piloted, you found upgrades, and you just tried to cruise your way across the galaxy as far as you possibly could. I feel like this one's probably going to be a little bit more free roamy and maybe give you a little bit more opportunity to get in over your head. Oh, there's another one. Let's kill him. That's my first response is, hey, there's another one. Let's kill him. But then again, we here at the Nerd Castle believe it in killing everything that is a threat to us. There's a shipwreck over here. What kind of... Oh, my God. There's drones everywhere. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You've made your point, drones. Okay. Yes. Death to the organics. 
I get it. Where are you? Go away. Die. Get off me. I don't know. No one loves you. Stop that. Go away. Oh, there was a turret over there. It dropped a cooling unit, though. Okay, so what's going on with this shipwreck over here? Oh, we can search it. Nice. So it's got money, and it's got a calibrated rail gun that's, like, better than what we have going on. I'll see if I can equip that in just a minute. I don't know if we can hot swap gear or if we got to go back to headquarters in order to do that, but it definitely has me enticed right now. Like, I really liked the first game, so I've been waiting patiently for the second one to come out, and I really do appreciate a shadow creature. What the hell does a shadow creature do? Find another creature? Oh, my God, it's attached to me. Why is it attached to me? That was not part of the plan. Oh, there's another one over here. The creature returned. Oh, maybe we got to do it rapid. Oh, we got a turret over here. It's like shooting mines or something. I think it's shooting like barrels of Bantha Poodoo at me. Yeah, let's maybe like... Oh, rapid fire missile packs? Yeah, baby. That's the stuff I like right there. That's that heat. That's that hot fire. I like it. As though there was something like cold fire. I mean, I'm sure there is. There's probably a physicist in the audience right now that's like, actually, cold fire is one of those things. I don't know, man. I don't know anything about anything, all right? I'm kind of dumb. That's why I play video games on the internet for a living, because I don't have the aptitude for anything else. We got clothing, we've got credits, and we've got liquor. Yeah, dude, we found the whiskey boat. Now we can be buzzed, an ancient damage glyph. Now we can be buzzed while we fly throughout the galaxy getting in trouble. What is this? An ancient damage glyph. Is someone shooting at me? I can throw it? Oh, somebody is shooting at me. Hold up, amigo. Hold up. Wasn't really trying to get shot today, but you don't really seem to deal that much damage. So I feel somewhat okay with what just happened right there. Like, when we first started, I was getting kind of scared. We were getting shot a lot. And I was thinking, like, maybe we might die. Maybe it would be a good idea, like, not to do that. What is this? An iron deposit? Oh, cool. We can space mine. Nice. I think we got all the space iron. What's that worth? Space iron is worth 30 bucks a pop. I mean, it's something. We picked up enough volume of it to where I don't feel that badly about the exchange. Oh, there's another one right there. Cool. So they're sort of like in this demo. I know, right? They're demoing all the different mechanics that you can check out. Like, you can tell because they've made this first little zone like super chock-a-block with little random things to interact with to kind of get you into the swing of things. You got scrap metal over here? What does that do for me? Yeah, go get that. I want the scrap metal. I like scrap metal. I don't see anything else on our sensors. So, we've got the two little shadow creatures, but like it looks like it's like a time trial thing where you got to run it from one side to the other. I'm not a big time trial guy. Also, I'm not a big fan of shadow monsters being attached to my ship. So, I'm going to err on the side of caution and just be like, no, I'm not going to touch that. Let's go buy some more missiles with the pocket change that we've successfully kicked out of the wallets of these like bandits. They were actually surprisingly flush with cash right now. I didn't expect that. We're in good shape. Uh, let's fly through, yeah, this little thing right here. Just kind of cruise through it. Perfect. And then we will refill all of our ordnance. $63 for high explosive rounds that are fired from a massive ship? Yes. See, these are the prices that I seek to have in real life. So, like, what other cool little things do I have? So, I picked up a gun. Uh, the gun is 17 kinetic. Is that... Do I have a railgun? Let's swap the calibrated railgun in for the scatter gun because I'm definitely not going to use the scatter gun. The chances of me using a shotgun in space, pretty limited. I doubt that it's going to happen. Can I sell any of this stuff right here? Does removal sell it? Should probably try it with something that's not that valuable. I don't think that it sold it. I think it just, like, dumped it. We probably got to go to a trader or something if we're going to get rid of this stuff. Oh, that's weird how the icon rotates around your mouse when you pick it up. It's odd, but it's also kind of pleasing in a weird way. Nice. I feel like I'm, like, fanboying about this game right now, and, like, my job is to, like, objectively appraise games on the internet. But, like, I liked Everspace 1 so much that it's hard for me not to be excited about Everspace 2. 
Uh, let's jump drive it. Wait, do I have to like aim my jump drive? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? So we've got an unknown location right there. We've got Cito 4, which is our base. We've got a trading station over there. Okay. Uh, can I like... I kind of want to go to Outlaw Turf. Let's go there and get into a fight. That sounds sweet. I feel like that's the kind of thing that you guys want to see, like in an action-packed... Oh my god, I almost crashed into a planet. Is the... Is the outlaw turf on the planet? No, it's like around the orbit of the planet, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Did I burn up in Atmo? Oh, I didn't. Nice. I'm not dead. Hell yeah. I love not being dead. Alright, so scanners. Do we have anything on scans right now? I need to like have one of those little things that's like... And then it like scans everything by tracing the primitives or whatever. It puts like a little white outline along all the edges of the polygons. That's like always the sound that it makes. I need a space sonar. Ooh, there's bad guys over here. Let's go wreck them. That is a lot of them though. There's like tray bad guys over there. I do have an outpost right there. So if we get chewed on too badly, I think we can still like resupply and be okay. Let's go over here. Let's go introduce ourselves. Let's give them the old Prometheus. Let's let's give her the old Pandoran handshake, shall we? I need like some Sabaton or something playing while I do this. Read between the lines. There we go. One down. Shields are getting uh, worked on a little bit. I'm just going to back off this guy. It looks like somebody's trying to jump in and help us right now. Just kind of crazy. Like I think somebody else is shooting at him. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There. You're a Vardum crystal shard. All right, I'll take your Vardum crystal shard. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. We've got more loot down here too. A cooling unit, and we've got an ancient damage glyph. I'm a little worried about what the ancient damage glyph actually does, dude. Why is there like a spooky Dr. Wily castle floating on this asteroid over here? It's kind of sinister looking. Then again. Maybe, just maybe, we can attack this place with some Mega Man music on. So apparently, Fartum Crystal Shards, like, grow on the side of asteroid bums. That's what I learned about the universe today. Astrogeology. Let's call it Xenogeology. That sounds better. Astrogeology sounds way lamer than Xenogeology. It's probably just ice crystals. If we can't sell it, at least our whiskey will be cold for the remaining part of our flight. I don't see any other bad guys around. It seems like we're in pretty good shape. So who are these guys over here? Oh, we got something. Is that like a turret? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got a mild case of Tourette syndrome right now. Okay, let's wipe them out. Oh, I don't know if I have chaff. I don't know if that's a thing that I have. We haven't tried out the railgun yet either. I probably should. Perfect. What are you doing? Just like hanging out over here? Let's try out the calibrated railgun. It's not too bad. I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to aim. Yeah, exactly. For exactly that reason right there is you got to release it just right. Seems like it gives you a big damage boost, though. I'm kind of wondering what the range is on it. Oh, no. Okay, 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 gentlemen. Okay. All right. Here. Oh, he shot down my missile with a bullet out of midair like wanted. We're level three, though, so that's pretty sweet. I do like being level three. Is there anything that I can steal, undock, and or loot over here? Uh, there is some scrap metal. That's to be expected when you spend like the last 10 minutes blowing everything up that looks at you the wrong way. And we've got a wiring kit up here. I need to go to the trade station, I think, and unload some of this stuff. Where's the wiring kit at? Is it like inside of there? 
Oh, I think it is. Yeah. I think it, like, accidentally got sucked inside the clipping right there, which is what made it so hard to loot. See if I can orient for you guys a little bit. But, oh, we can destroy whatever that is? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to blow it up. This is a pirate base right here. They deserve it. We're like Space Judge Dread. Yup. All of it must die. Who be attacking me fine base? Yar, it be I, the Splatter Cat. Come to collect on all your heinous crimes. Your bounty will be mine. Dude, I'm attacking the hell out of your pirate base right now. You guys better get over here and do something about it. You better get over here and flex. This is happening, like, right now. I don't know what was inside that container. I assume that was probably your bathwater or something. Yar, we pirates be selling our bathwater for high prices to those with a pirate fetish. Is that a thing? I bet you pirate fetish is a thing. I bet you. I bet you. I don't know what that was right there. It was probably like a rack of cheeseburgers or something. Goodbye, cheeseburgers, for next week. Uh, let's go to one of these bases over here, and we'll drop off some of these goodies and see if we can re-equip with some better gear. I don't know if we picked up anything that we want right now, but that was a pretty successful pirate base attack. Apparently, we've destroyed zero out of four banners. Okay. I'll have to figure out where the banners are and precisely how we annihilate those. I'm assuming this is like Everqu or EverQuest. I'm assuming this is like Everspace 1. Oh, can I land? Oh, cool. Nice. You can just, like, park it right there. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to buy more missiles, please. Yes. I feel like missiles are more expensive here. I feel like missiles are definitely more pricey. So F will sell things here. That's probably good. I'm going to sell you guys, yeah. Sell you guys some of these sexy things over here. Get some money in the old bank account. You guys have anything that's pretty rad? So you've got like a crappier shield that recharges faster. You've got a better shield that's just all around better. I will 100% take that. Now that can go inside my inventory right this second. We've got a sensor suite right there. Oh, it increases my check. Ooh, my tractor beam range. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, little upgrades. Okay. Let me, let me upgrade you. I'm going to sell like all this stuff because I don't know what it does. Therefore, I don't see... I don't have any, like, attachment to it. We'll throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. I don't know if we're limited by, like, hard points or anything else like that, but it doesn't seem like it, so, like, meh. You know, no biggie, no harm, no foul. We now have more energy and shield... Or we have more shield capacity. Not more energy, but more shield. All right. What is this? Oh, it's another shadow creature. Okay. Okay. What is that? An iron deposit? I wonder if those are the banners right there. You see those yellow things on the top of the base? I bet that's them. Yeah, dude, shred the banners. Let's see what happens. I bet you a boss spawns or something. Let's explore a little bit. Let's try out some of these internal systems. Should I fire a missile at the last ban- I kind of feel like I should fire a missile at the last one. Yeah, exactly. Just for, like, extra disrespect. Destroy the head. Dude, something's going to come out of there, huh? I was going to say, oh, what is that? What is that? Fire a missile at it. Yep, we go back and forth. Outlaw madcap, huh? All right, fire a missile at him. Bye. Nice knowing you. Enjoy my space torpedo. Did he just... Did he just eject out of his ship into a smaller ship that is also equipped for battle? I'm pretty sure he just did. He had a larger ship for battle that inside there was a smaller ship that when the outer ship was destroyed, it launches the little one out and he keeps on fighting. This pirate over here changing the game, man. Changing the game. Can I change my shield right now? Because we just picked up a blue shield. Like, it's capacity. Let's see here. Recharge delay. 
How is that better than what I have? Is this like a level four shield? Is that what it is? I'm gonna keep the green one. We'll just sell that when we get back to when we get back home. What was that gun we picked up? A scatter gun? Eh, level two scatter gun. Okay. Well, this is Everspace 2. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed playing the demo. I enjoyed playing it tremendously. Make sure to check this one out on your platform of choice. I'll have a link for you down below so that you can check that on out and you can add it to a wish list. A lot of people don't know this, but when you wish list a game, it really, really helps the developers out. Like, it's one of those features that I think is not communicated very well to the end user on Steam. Like, it makes a world of difference if, like, fans of a game go and wish list it before it comes out. Like, even if you just leave it on your wish list, like, you should go do that before release for games you're excited about. Because, like, the developers get a tremendous amount of promotional support from Steam if you do that. So it's like one of those things you can help out if there's a development team that you like. You can just go wishlist all their games like right now, and that will help them out a ton. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out as a content creator. And aside from that, goodbye, everyone. I shall hide do with you further tomorrow.